Hey guys, it's Sam and I thought I would vlog this week since I have the week off for midwinter break. Today is Saturday, February 15th. I slept in. I'm having coffee late in the afternoon so you know you're on vacation when that happens. Sorry for my staying sweatshirt. If you watched my recent haul video, I was mentioning this is my like cooking sweatshirt, eating sweatshirt because I am just such a messy person. Anyway, right now I am cooking dinner for my grandmother, which I'll show you in a second. She's not feeling very well, so I wanted to make her something that I know she likes. And um, we, I luckily I've had soups in the freezer and one of them was chicken soup. And what I do is when I make soup, I put two you know those chinese takeout containers the pints i put two two of those in the freezer filled with soup and i could just pull them out easy lunch or whatever she if she's not feeling well she could have the soup um yesterday was valentine's day but me and steve didn't officially celebrate it we did go out to eat uh, i guess that's the first valentine's day dinner but today uh in a couple of hours we're gonna go out to eat with um my sister and her boyfriend double date for valentine's day still deciding on where to go but that's what i've been up to so far nothing much but let me show you what's on the stove for my grandmother this is what i'm making for my grandmother it is cabbage kibasi potatoes onions and carrots she really likes this and i'm hoping that she will eat she hasn't been really eating that much and I just want to make her something that I know that she likes so that should be done in another like five ten minutes it doesn't really take that long just the veggies need to get softened and she likes her veggies extra soft and the kibasi I could probably pull out because it was pre-cooked before yeah so hopefully she'll enjoy we're using this baker's dipping chocolate we have pistachios Steve likes chocolate sprinkles barely so yeah, my sister is using this. Looks so cute. And those are the strawberries that look delicious. Okay, so these are how mine turned out. Those big six are for Steve. And then those tiny ones are for my grandma. Aren't they so cute? Okay, so I am getting ready to go out. I was about to put these earrings on. They are the candy heart earrings. And it says, be mine and too cute. Let's see. Will you focus? Almost. Anyway, um, I have really sensitive earlobes and I was feeling this one and it feels like it has an infection. So I'm not going to wear these. Obviously, they're not real, but sometimes I could get away with wearing earrings that are not 100%, you know, 14K gold or higher. What can I say? Uh, and today, I, for some reason, I put my eyeliner on before my foundation. I'm going to be wearing the CoverGirl Plus Ole Simply Ageless. And this one is in 235 beige, light beige, no, medium light. I'm not going to show you on camera. I just want to tell you what I was up to and still haven't decided where to go. It's almost... It's almost 7 o'clock. It's 6.48 to be exact. And I'm watching YouTube videos and getting ready. Got sushi, oysters, and crab legs. Oh, and we're here. One more round of oysters. Oh. And here's my dessert. Look how cute the cakes are. The colors Strawberry tiramisu. Hi, guys. Today is Sunday, February 16th. It's about 1 p.m. I am having lunch and it is ramen. And the name of this one is Gin Ramen Spicy by Otogi. I'm not sure, but it's really good. And I want to show you our ramen. Sorry, it's a little dark in there, but there's our ramen closet. Usually it's even fuller. There's some down there. Um yeah we have a ramen drawer and this one is a new one for me but it's really good this is the tenkatsu ramen uh tenkatsu pork ramen and it's by nissan so good i'll go with the ramen spicy nissan Hi 
guys, it's Sam, and today is Monday, February 17th. I keep on wanting to say Wednesday. I've started this video a few times, and I don't know why Wednesday is on my mind. And right now, it is almost 5 p.m. I am trying to organize my grandmother's medications. I, I do that for her. It's just kind of complicated because she's taking so many medications, and they change all the time, and I was like, I will set it up for you in, you know, the pill organizers. And I wanted to share this because some of you might be taking care of older uh, parents or grandparents and finding it, the medication part, a little complicated. So let me turn this around and I'll show you um, how her medicines come. And this is my setup. So I have these two organizers. I just used to have this one. I got this one off of Amazon prefer this one just because it's easier to for me to fill in the pockets this one i have to open each one each compartment individually and she does take pills four times a day uh this one is a neural one and it's more for if you're traveling so you could just take these out and let's say you're going away for two nights or two days you have your pills are right here and you could just take them um but i prefer this one since she doesn't really go away, um, but in case we ever do, this is what we'll take. This is how her medicines come, and it doesn't include as-needed medications. Just keep that in mind. Um, I'm not going to tell you what she's taking just because that feels kind of weird to me. She takes a lot of blood pressure medicines. So we have here her morning, noon, evening, and nighttime, and it comes like this. Um, and it makes life so much easier than having, what would this be? Like, I don't know, 15 bottles of pills. So it comes like that. Now, I have had some problems with the pharmacy that we use, uh, in terms of not, they're not taking out stuff that we need. So, um, sometimes we'll have to go back and forth, but they do try to fix it. And this is what I'm doing right now. Um... I don't think this pharmacy is everywhere, but I believe CVS does a version and Pill, Pill Pack by Amazon, um, they do something similar. Right now I'm making dinner and, well, preparing dinner. This is the roast chicken from Costco, which is, it's so good and you can't beat the price. And I am making an appetizer, so that's goat cheese spread on a plate. I'm going to add tomatoes to these white onions. And then with the chicken, the asparagus is baking in the oven downstairs. And I made glazed carrots with glazed rainbow carrots. But they all taste the same. Um, yeah, so I'll show you when everything is completed. Okay, so we're going to have this goat cheese, tomato, onion, balsamic glaze appetizer with these crackers from trader joe's these are my absolute hands down favorite crackers to get they don't have them all the time but they are the scallop cracker trio i don't know which one we're gonna have but they're all delicious so that's appetizers or appetizer gravy chicken asparagus glazed carrots and a greedy ava she got bacon already sausage and she's still looking for food. And then I decided to, with the chicken carcass from the roast chicken, make chicken broth, which will probably become chicken soup. First time making eggs in the Instant Pot, and I'm about to cut it. Okay, I can't finish this. Oh, okay. So I want it a little less cooked than that, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Me and my sister decided to make these strawberry mousses and each component tastes really good. So we're gonna have to freeze it for an hour and we'll taste it later. But it was so easy to make and look how cute they are. What I thought of tonight's dessert, it was awful. So good. Hey, today is Tuesday, February 18th. I just made myself a cup of coffee. And yes, I have an espresso, but I try to make my own fancy coffee. It did not work out so well. The foam looks really good. Uh, garbage is picking up our garbage from Monday, if you hear that noise. And I haven't done much. I discovered a cold sore this morning. And when I get a cold sore, I just... Not only is it a bummer, but... 
it's so unsightly and I'm trying to head it off before it gets even bigger because what tends to happen to me is it gets much bigger and more painful so I'm just trying to keep putting cream on it and taking my medication that I have for it. it I, I haven't gotten one in a really long time but I'm just stressing out I can tell I know it's my week off but with my grandmother and just everything else that's going on um, just a little bit stressed out not much content going on today but I thought I would share with you what I'm doing right now this is chicken broth I made yesterday and I thought I was watching someone on Instagram and she does a lot of cooking and she uses much bigger bags but I thought I would use these sandwich bags to put the broth in instead of using the Chinese containers like this my fridge doesn't have for my freezer doesn't have that much space so I thought I would use uh, this size and that'd be enough for individual uh, portions if somebody want to make themselves a bowl of soup or if I want to make someone a bowl of soup or something like that or use it in um, my recipes I I'm gonna do it by I think I might do two cups in each bag I'll see how much I can fit in there usually recipes call for that and I'm trying to use up these sandwich bags so that's what I'm doing right now so I put the broth in the bags and I somehow squeezed out most of the air so that it could lay flat and then I'm scared to show you this but oh my goodness look at my freezer even the doors this is what happens after a trip to Costco I was even going to get frozen lasagna and I decided against it and I got to do some Tetris and figure out what I'm going to do here ay 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 it is almost 6.30 and I'm going to do some work on the laptop and my planner and menu planning. Although I paused menu planning for a little while. I Oh, look who came to visit. Hi, Ava. She likes to spend her time downstairs. <laughs> Ava, come here. Come. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Good job. It's almost 6.30 and Miss Muffin came up from downstairs. She likes to hang out downstairs. Oh, she's being a good girl. Um, if you follow me for a while, she is. She just turned 7 December. Still a little bit grumpy, but she's my dog and I love her. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work on my laptop. Possibly I'm going to fill in some stuff in my planner. Just finished I want dinner, to. Uh, and the clothes are finished. This is my second load uh, that I'm going to put in the dryer. There is my second load. That is Nan's and Ava's blankets that I need to fold and bring upstairs. I'm going to hang dry a lot of my stuff. You can see me in the mirror. Hello. Um, I'm going to hang dry jeans and shirts that I don't want in the dryer. But everything else will go in the dryer. And I don't do colors or I don't separate my colors in whites. I just, I've never really done it. So it's only if I'm feeling really ambitious will I do that. But otherwise my clothes come out okay. It is February 19th, Wednesday. And this is what Ava's doing. I'm trying to zoom in, but I burnt my finger right there. So I couldn't zoom in. There she is. Ah, to be a dog. I think she's enjoying the sun too. I'll show you. I'm going to go outside. So I'll show you how beautiful it is outside today. I also made a quiche earlier. This has, it's quiche Lorraine. So it has Gruyere. I added a little bit of cheddar cheese. There's onion, bacon, eggs, and half and half. And this is why I burned my finger. So the pot holder that I was using to lift this up, there was a hole on the other side, which I didn't realize. And of course, I had to have that side. <laughs> I was using that side when I uh, was taking it out of the oven. If I had it on the other side, this wouldn't have happened. But I'm glad it did because now that pot holder has been thrown away and no one else is going to get hurt. But doesn't that look so good? I had a pre-made pie crust and um, all the ingredients, which was nice. So I made the quiche for later tonight. I gave a piece to my grandmother for her lunch, and I also made butternut squash soup, which is already in the refrigerator. I had given my grandmother uh, the soup and the quiche for lunch. I thought that was a nice little meal. She does get meals on wheels, but I they sent the... 
they said this dish it's like a tuna fish but it's really pureed and she doesn't like it that much so um that's what she had for lunch and it's a beautiful day which i said earlier so i'm gonna step outside um i also besides the burn and my cold sore that i still have which isn't as bad as it's not it doesn't hurt as much um i also have an earache so just my body is revolting i don't know okay i'm gonna go outside you do need a light jacket oh gosh i didn't mean to slam the door so hard and I want to show you um, that I had put away everything from the garden. I moved the flower bed over here. It used to be over there. But I just cleaned out everything and ready for the spring. I'm already thinking about uh, what to plant and stuff. And it's beautiful in the sun. It's a little bit chilly in the in the shade and it's windy but it is a nice day if you're sitting inside and the sun is on you it feels really good i didn't show you guys but i did my nails yesterday i did gel nail polish and this is probably the best i've done yet it's a jelly opal color and let me show you this hand sorry dog fur on my pants too but that's life so not bad and i like the um, the round shape that i gave my nails they're just such they're in such bad condition because i was testing out dip powders and other type of nail systems and i'm not very good at waiting for the foil so i haven't really done anything to my nails in the last month or so just letting them grow out but they're taking forever and I thought I would just leave these on until they literally fall off. Let's see if I can do it. I usually can make it about a week and then I start to like not want them on my fingers anymore. <laughs> I'll give you one guess as to where we are. Ikea, baby! Got a few things. I need a new dresser. Um, I'll explain why we came here and got what we got. I'll just tell you now yeah so I want it I have I'm on a budget and I didn't want to get anything with fiberboard or particle board so we got this glass cabinet board kind of thing and this Ikea is right by the airport so look at the plane to Trader Joe's before Ikea and I was reading somewhere I forgot where oh gosh maybe it was Trader Joe's list on Instagram um, but they put eucalyptus and it makes your shower smell nice so I'm gonna try it hey guys so today is Thursday February 20th if you see that man with the cone by his car I believe he's coming to our house I don't know for the past several months national grid has not been able to read our gas so they've just been apparently charging us what the neighborhood gets charged which i think is crazy to me and i don't understand it uh but he's here to check to um check our gas machine or gas line i'm not too sure and um yeah it's about 9 30 a little bit later than that he was supposed to come anywhere between eight and four so i guess i should be lucky that he's coming now the gas man has come and went apparently it was the battery that was old so that's what the, that's why they couldn't read the meter for the past several months ava love the man we got a new battery it was very quick and now um we're just going to hang out Right now, I have the Instant Pot on. It's making chicken thighs, although me and Steve are going out to eat. This is for my sister. It's almost a quarter to six, and there's asparagus as a veggie. So I just finished um, cleaning up the kitchen, although I forgot. Let's 
turn the light on. I forgot that I want to put away my imperfect produce box. And instead of doing a separate haul, I thought I would open it up with you guys. And what I'll show you my dress. So this is the root. He must take Newark. I don't know what that means, but EWR um, is Newark Airport. So he must go through that way. And I get it on Thursdays. And I wanted to tip this guy, but I didn't know if it was the same driver. And I feel like I read somewhere that you get different drivers. But I've seen this guy's name almost every time. So I'm going to tip him. Um, So, lots of stuff in here. Uh, there are eggs in this package. Um, so, as you can see, I'm not going to pull everything out and show you, but fennel, carrots, onions, lemons, cucumbers, uh, cauliflower, and I believe there's a cabbage in there. Oh, down there, sweet potato. So, that's my week's. Uh, imperfect produce haul i haven't had to go food shopping this week we did go to trader joe's but that was more for it wasn't a necessity um this will be part of uh this weekend and next week's meals so that's great just finished my imperfect foods haul and the instant pop beep so it was ready look at this doesn't that look so good i turned over uh, the chicken thighs because I had a skin, skin side down so that it would brown a little bit more. But the bottom will also brown so it's going to sit here for a little while. This base is pretty common I feel like. Whenever I search uh, Instant Pot chicken thigh recipes, um, the ingredients that I uh, come across is soy, brown sugar, garlic, chicken broth, honey, and it comes looking like this. It smells really good i hope it tastes good so that's ready now i'm gonna just heat up my grandmother's meals on wheels um and then i feed ava and i think i mentioned earlier me and steve were going out i don't know where but everybody's getting taken care of i wanted to share with you what a typical meal for my grandmother looks like so these two things are for meals on wheels and that's a peach fruit cup uh so brussels sprouts brown rice this looks like kind of like a turkey meatloaf and she is on a, a diabetic diet so um her food is not bland but you know they try not to put a lot of salt and things like that in there um she wanted tea today so i got her some tea and since she drinks water most of the time i thought this would be nice to have as a treat um but yeah that's what a typical meal looks like for her an Amazon package just arrived, something that I wanted for a really long time, and there, then there was a surprise in there, my sister said. We ordered through her because she has Amazon Prime, and here it is. It's a Lego set. I know. Am I, like, seven years old now? But I've always wanted to do something like this and just kept on putting it off, um, but finally got my hands on it of course I wanted to start with New York City skyline so you have the Statue of Liberty uh Empire State Building Chrysler Building I didn't know what this was so I had to look at the back it's the Flatiron Building and then of course the Freedom Tower here you go and I'm just really excited it has about 600 pieces and while I was looking for this I stumbled upon the Harry Potter castle and that's over six thousand pieces i don't know if i'll get to that point but if this is fun i was thinking of getting other skylines of places that i've been to so there's london there's paris um and several other cities yeah so i got this and then the surprise in the package was this my beauty wave beeline lifting mask for face and chin this looks so hilarious so excited about these two things and I got this before we decided to go to Ikea. So some of you are probably like, why would you want to do this when you have another project to do? It was a pure coincidence that this happened at the same time. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to this. Dresser is more important on my list right now, but maybe I will start this. And I thought we could hang it up. I want to put a shelf there or get two bookshelves on either side and put it up there. I thought that would be kind of a cool place um, to put these Legos.
It's a bit embarrassing, but this is the current state of my dresser. And when I was mentioning fiberboard, so the bottom of these dressers are made of fiberboard and they're not durable. And if you put too much weight, it slips out. I could never get it back in there. And the bottom one, there's a bottom drawer. Yes, there is. You can't see it. That one broke. So I don't have that drawer either. And that's why I'm against getting furniture from Ikea that's made of fiberboard. Um, so my new dresser, I believe it has particle board, but that's in the back. The shelves are... The shelves are more sturdy. And I think I'm going to switch the shoes to that side and the dresser to the new dresser to this side so it can be closer to the closet. I feel like in my mind that makes more sense. Uh, the top here is my jewelry, although you can't tell because again, that is a mess. It's a it's <laughs> I don't know why. I don't wear that much jewelry, so I really gotta declutter a lot of things, and that's including the clothes. I have too many clothes that I don't wear that I'm holding on to in case of like, what if I need that? But I really need to be brutal and just downsize because I do have too many things. This is a progress that I've made so far. And these drawers are now empty and in the hallway. Well, these two are empty. This one had nothing. And as I was clearing out, so this is what would happen. The, the bottom of the drawer would come out and then it's, Sometimes it could be fixed easily, sometimes it can't, and it's mostly my fault that this dresser is breaking down on me because I stuffed it like there was no tomorrow. Don't do what I do. Don't stuff these drawers because they can last for a long time. Like this, the, sh the shell of this dresser, it's really sturdy, but the drawers, not so sturdy, and that's, I'm mostly to blame. I don't want people to think like ikea uh i mean it's cheap furniture but it's it could last you a long time if you take care of it and don't overstuff it you got no interest in take on here is the current state of my room i decided to get rid of the shoe organizer when I had gotten it it was just a quick fix to get my shoe somewhere but I feel like it just took up too much of this space and I need to downsize my shoes obviously with the clothes that was in the dresser I am gonna do that tomorrow before I before I even bring the dresser in here I have to go through this stuff and that stuff and one day I will go through this closet I have to downsize the clothes though because what happens to me is I want to get rid of stuff but then I just get like too lazy and I'll just throw everything into the dresser and I'll never get to it. So I really have to do that tomorrow and um, just get rid of stuff. I feel so much better when there's less stuff and I don't know why I keep on like bringing more stuff into this room when it just gives me stress and anxiety. So, um, it's, it's just so hard to get rid of stuff though. It really, really is. But I'm going to try to be, um, really good about it and really go through the stuff and keep the stuff that I know I'm going to use. Hey guys. So it's Friday, February 21st. I'm starting to get the vacation blues. But I'm going to enjoy the last few days. And look, here's Ava up close. <laughs> I was going to stay sleeping, but there was just too much noise. And uh, Steve got up to go. He's going to go to the gym and dentist and... See, Ava, we got up too early, didn't we? Oh, she's mad. <laughs> That's how she is. She's a grumpy old thing. And I don't know, Rick. I got several things to do in the room, but I'm gonna... I slowly wake up. So, that's what's going on right now. Bunch of nothing. Looks like a nice day outside. Here is my lunch. It's a salad and I put in here beets, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, blue cheese, 
Uh, the dressing is just extra virgin olive oil and lemon with some salt and pepper. And I wanted to show you these. These are from Trader Joe's. I got them for the first time a couple of days ago. They are some of the best small tomatoes that I've ever had. They are delicious. If you see these, grab them. Especially the yellow ones. They taste so good. Um, I don't know if it's because I've had this cold sore for the past few days and the medication. But I'm just not craving food the way that I used to. And I felt like having a nice salad. So that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Here's another of my grandmother's meals on wheels. And today's Friday, so they get fish, cauliflower, sweet potato. I'm giving her half a jelly donut that my sister brought home. And then that's a fruit cup. I believe that's peaches. And I just have to add water. Hey! So today is February 22nd. It's Saturday. I'm in the laundry room. I'm currently doing my grandmother's sheets and blankets. I just got out of the shower. I feel like I haven't seen you guys this entire vlog, but I feel well enough to be on camera and show you my face. Uh, just with the cold sore, nobody wants to see that. It's almost healed, thank goodness. And we're gonna go out. We like to do things at night, just less crowded, and that's just, that's just how we, we do things around here. <laughs> we're night owls. <laughs> We're gonna come out now. I just chicken piccana, meat lasagna, beef kebab, and I got the prime rib, baby. And those are my sides um, carrots and baked potato. Check it out. Look what's finished. It's this piece of IKEA furniture, and I it's a cabinet, but I'm gonna turn it into a dresser. I have to get organizers for the inside. And the one thing that we didn't put in put in are the knobs. There's one on each side. Um, these are okay, but I want to get something a little bit cuter, so I have to find something like that. And then I have to find two knobs. Um, and then I'm gonna get a table runner because this gets easily scratched up and I don't want it to. I want this to last for a little bit longer than my last one. I just love this piece. I was choosing between a few and this, I'm so glad I decided on this one. It was $129. Me and my sister built it in about two hours. And as far as Ikea pieces go, this was fairly simple to do. Uh, she's very good at building stuff. Uh, I just love this. Look, my doors, my dresser drawers slide. Oh, pff, my dresser my the drawers on my dresser slide back and forth and i'm gonna measure the inside uh just to see like height and depth wise um what kind of organizers i want to get because i need to get a few bins to put my socks and things like that i was gonna paint my walls and i, I don't know i'll just leave it like this for now i'm so glad this is done I will get to this, but super excited about that. Check out what I found in the basement. These two table runners slash doilies. They're beautiful. Exactly what I was looking for. One is longer than the other. I put the shorter one in the front. And I love the fringe. And this way, this, this dresser cabinet is protected. Just so pretty. I'm in love. And check out my nails. They're not, they're not making it, guys. It's a bad idea to build furniture, especially Ikea furniture, when your nails are done. So, I'm going to take them off, probably. Decided to film on my new camera because I don't know why I'm not using it. That bag is my donation bag. Then over here, I'm really loving the storage, storage things that I got. So, the two baskets and... Uh, the wire basket just I feel like it looks really nice in this cabinet that is my undies then we have my socks and then this row we have my t-shirt so black and blue I might put those together um, and then those are my other colors and then down here are my pants so those are my jeans and then those are my slacks and jeans might be two rows because <laughs> jeans might be two piles because I have a lot of jeans and then 
over here, those are my bras. And then there's two piles of undershirts and they're different styles, but I might end up putting them together. And if I can't declutter my socks, I might get another basket for socks. And then this pile right here, I, there's things that I guess I could try them on now, but I'm just going to wait until the right, right weather. Um, so there's piles of like bathing suits and shorts and tank tops, workout stuff, um, a bunch of t-shirts that I just have to try on, but I'm going to do that over the course of time. And yeah, that's somewhat of the progress that I've made. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across in this video, but I like similar things to be in this, in, like near each other. So all my clothes I want near each other, all of my jewelry. That branch used to be where that picture is. And I thought it would just look better over here, but also be near the jewelry. Um, so I kind of put together the top of the dresser, although I don't know how to make this look less cluttered help me out please i want to keep most of those things and i just don't know how to rearrange it so that um it doesn't look so messy but i also don't want to put things into boxes if that makes any sense and um that's my absolute favorite pieces of jewelry and i love the jewelry holder that it's on i got that i feel like from home goods and yeah we're coming along here um, so these things here, I talked about the socks yesterday. I'm going to try them on when it's warmer weather. Um, but probably get rid of most of these. And then those t-shirts I'm going to try on, um, throughout the next several weeks I give myself. And then if I don't wear them, I'll, I'll donate them. And I did fill up a little bit more. As I said, I was going to separate, I was going to put together the blue and the black shirts that I have and then um, at the bottom row I put some shorts that I know I like that I'm gonna wear and some tank tops and I separated the jeans into two piles one dark and one light and then <laughs> I'm sure everybody has a pair of fat jeans where they they just can't fit into their regular jeans so <laughs> that's right there and I think I'm gonna call it quits for this vlog I'll and I'll do a proper outro later but yeah that's this is what I'm up to today and the last thing I had to do was hang that jewelry branch so my to-do list for today done always makes me happy today is Monday February 24th I wanted to end the vlog it was the first day back it wasn't so bad. I I love being off, but I end up like just staying up late, waking up late, eating all at all crazy hours. So it's nice to be back on a schedule again. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm about to cook dinner. That's why I'm filming in the kitchen. And I'm going to use, I love this thing. I used it a couple of times or and it's a prepara, so you put your phone in here, but you could charge it at the same time. And I've been really enjoying it because I like to use my phone um, lengthwise. <laughs> and um, if you see this at HomeSense, because that's where I got it, and you are in the kitchen and you like to scroll through your phone, it's a very cool tool to have. So I just want to show you. You just stick it through here, and I think any size can fit in there. Anyway, I really enjoy this purchase and I would recommend. So I hope you guys have a great first, no, I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.